Well, the youth of Chennai, it seems, wants to change the trend typical of South India of usually voting the way the family does. The family's choice need not be mine, say students who have just got their voter identity cards from a focus on corruption in education, in particular medical and engineering seats, to bringing in technology into governance to empower police departments across India. The southern city has a long but doable wish list. My first vote. My first vote. My first vote. My first vote. Talk of Chennai and this is what you get to see. Mylapore is one very gorgeous, very, very popular, one of the oldest areas of Chennai. And this is it when you say Chennai. Politically very aware citizens. You also have the fragrance of jasmine in the air. And when it is election season, the topic invariably of conversation for several people is elections. Take a look at this group, for example. They've joined here, uh, gathered here at uh, this adda, as they call it. Have you decided uh, what to vote for? I'll vote for NOTA. Okay, why is that? To be quite honest, I'm not very familiar with each party's manifesto and what they have to stand How for. How many of you are going to vote? All of you are first-time voters? No. All right, so um, what is what is the point that you will keep in mind when you vote? Um, I think that uh, none of us would really be voting much for uh, people or based on family name or, or, or on any particular communal stand. We'd probably vote for someone who's secular, someone who wants development, someone with a clear vision and someone who's able to relate to the problems that the youth have today. And that's a trend perhaps because in South India apparently the trend is that you go uh, with the family if but she says it doesn't, it, it holds no relevance in this uh, generation. Do you see a majority of uh, uh, young voters going against that and actually voting for national parties in Tamil Nadu? Uh, frankly, I don't really think so because we're not really influenced by Dravidian politics. We are more of the kind of uh, generation that actually looking at the manifesto, finding out what you want to do for us. Then only we, regardless of what you, uh, what caste you are, what background you're from, what your family name is. Chennai is a major uh, hub for education and you were saying corruption in education has been major as well. Is that going to be uh, a point of focus for you? I don't want to see corruption in education. I don't want to see so many privatized universities. I don't want to see ex-rowdies and gundas, you know, running colleges and, you know, them offering me my PGs and PhDs when I know that they're going to be demanding capitation fees. She's talking of corruption in education. You were making a point on reservation in education. If you see something like the reservation, that something that really uh, demeans, that demeans a certain sector of the public and it prevents it from actually accessing that part of the uh, the government, which is the education. You agree with that? You you disagree? Uh, yeah, I mean, we start, we have reservations for a particular reason because there are castes that have been socially backward who have not had access to education in the past. But currently, there has been a generation of the people in the backward caste who have now had access to education because of the reservations. But however, their children continue to have the benefits of the reservation despite them having the same infrastructure and the same advantages that the rest of us have. We need to have it based on economic status because there are so many people from the forward caste also, the so-called forward caste who are undertakers at graveyards so I think this should change this whole attitude of caste based reservation should be abolished if not, abolished. It's, yeah, yeah if not only caste I then believe that a social economic yeah. status yeah. needs status to be gone. incorporated yeah. um, a lot of uh, mention about how reservation is going to be there in the private sector all of you up for it or no oh, not a chance should be only based on merit yeah Absolutely. definitely Merit. merit and merit alone. And we want less corruption in education as well as more technology being given to the police. I mean, we want people to be safe as well as education to be more friendly to everyone and allowing access to everyone. Which well, case, uh, which case uh, a huge wish list, of course, yes. yes. Well, corruption is not, you can't just say that corruption is only there in the education sector. They're not two different things. They're very often interlinked. Corruption is a very widespread thing. So you can't just say corruption in the education sector needs to be contained. So corruption is there even in the police department. You can't, if you give the police department teeth and corruption is still prevalent, the teeth have no effect. They bite the people. They do not bite the people who actually have committed the crime. So corruption and, you know, empowering the department need to go hand in hand for the empowerment to be effective. Uh, I think the government has to ensure more than rights. We have to focus even on the environment part of it. And mosquito menace is a huge thing in China. A lot of people, after electricity, I think mosquitoes are the next yeah. thing. There's a lot of reach going on by different parties. They're going on Facebook, Twitter. That's a trend as of now. Technology is being used to the max. So we hope, you know, who can catch us 
cash or attention the most that yes will play a major role in student politics one last point the election commission of india over the years has done a research which says that uh, when you take voting into account the youth between 18 and 25 years of age has uh, been less active how many of you are interested in not just voting but also being part of the political system uh, all this while we just look at politics our parents have this attitude our entire society has this attitude that it's you know it's garbage it's a drainage if we think it's garbage we need to start to clean it up ourselves we need to get our hands dirty and start cleaning it up so, so will you do you want to be a politician Definitely one day. A statesman, not a politician. A statesman. Yes. All right. On that note, we uh, end this uh, special edition from Chennai on my first vote. Radhika Iyer from Chennai with Sukumar NDTV.